Hey, what's up, guys? It's Brew again. Um, I have no idea what part this is going to be because my last video actually ended up being more than 20 minutes. Uh, so I may have to ha half that up for YouTube. I don't know yet. Um, but anyway, we're going to continue where we left off. Uh, my Thieves level 15 and my Warrior, which is my Warrior right now. I've been playing on it. I was actually wanting to show you the swords I just got. Like, I know it's probably just being too giddy or whatever, but, uh, they're, pre they're pretty awesome. On my warrior, I'm actually doing a, uh, sword duel world. Uh, do I want to do it again? I'm doing a sword duel world. Or duel world, I'm sorry. Sorry. And I'm doing a, uh, crit and bleed build, which the two swords are amazing for bleeds. Using the owl to bleed my foe, and I'm using uh, for great justice, which grants fury and might to yourself and your allies, which is eight seconds of twenty percent crit chance. And you also get thirty power and thirty condition damage, which all flows together. I mean, like in a single mob, they die so fast, but I've got it up to twelve stacks of bleeding. And when you get like a like an event, a boss event or something going on, oh my god, you just get an insane amount of, of uh, stacks of bleeding. But anyway, you know, that's just me being me. That's what I like to do with warriors. Anyway, let's go ahead and switch back to the thief. I think we're just doing... A story mission. Uh, confront Captain Turtlein. Okay. Turtle in is at. Uh, is there any way I can ask her how to get out of here? Okay, I really hope I'm not going to have like a 20 minute video of me running around. So let's hold my. Let's do it this way. I did this uh, boss event down here, and I don't even remember. I think it was like called a Shadow Beast. Was that what it was? Let's see, achievements, achievements, achievements. Bosses. Dispelling shadows. Actually, go buy that. That's where I got that sword at, by the way. I may actually go buy that sword just from my yard. I know it's not taking forever, and I apologize. And if it does take me forever, I'll just probably redo it. <laughs> that way, I'm not like 30 minute video of just me running to one destination. Running into trees. Um, if you'd like to see me do the same thing with this, as I, or with my warrior as I'm doing with this, you just say so. I mean, I'm not doing anything. Uh, Warrior's 16, and she's actually. I've switched her to the human area, so that would actually that would actually work out a little bit so y'all can see some of the human stuff, which you're seeing in the countryside right now. <laughs> this guy's going to attack me in a minute. I'm going to show him how to do that. That was impressive!
Humans aren't the only people harassed by the centaurs. There's a friendly Etten tribe led by Krug to the south. They would be powerful allies if we could get them to work. Okay. Same going the right way. Yes, we can be true friend Ettens. You mean Ettens don't work well with other Ettens? Yeah, I wouldn't like be correct in the grammar of a giant Etten king. <laughs> Spartan Captain Totoro. Okay. Apparently this guy just wanna walk around. These guys are pretty easy to kite because they do like two abilities. One is just power smash thing that takes a while, another one is just the AoE. Cinematic. Imagine that, it's a trailer. Of course you're still alive. Should have known a few centaurs couldn't kill the hero of Shamor. They're your specialty after all, right? I know what happened to Falcon Company, Trevellum. How could you give them up to the centaurs? How could you betray their trust like that? I didn't want to do it. My soldiers were starving. Our equipment was ruined. I had to do something or the centaurs would have killed us all. So yeah, I sold out Falcon Company so that some politician could say the queen was a bad ruler. The rest of my command lived. I got funds to re-equip my soldiers, munitions, decent rations, and a promotion. My commands killed more centaurs than the rest of the Seraph combined, thanks to Falcon Company's sacrifice. And all it cost was one company of your fellow soldiers. You're not an officer. You're a greedy lowlife thug. And you'll pay for what you've done. You and Bigsby. If you hadn't dug so deep, you both could have done a lot to help us. All of us. But now you'll just be eating food. Bigsby may be already. This gate should hold you all in. I'm sorry it came to this. Goodbye, hero. When you meet her, tell your sister I said hello. Aren't you just a badass? You can't even finish me off yourself. Throwing rocks at me. Oh, never mind. Just killed my ass. It's faster. He wasn't dead, but he's kind of just knocked out. Trevelyn sucker punched me and left me for Eden food. Like this whole I'm video might here. be like still just this. You hurry. Just this little story mission. We're getting there. Keep it up. Don't quit now. We're so close. There goes Trevelyn. Boss heading? Uh oh, nope. My buddy the commander is out there.
Hey, are you all right? Fine, Captain Thackeray. I'm glad you're here. Trevelyan's a traitor. On top of two fresh counts of attempted murder, he was the one who betrayed the Screaming Falcons. Digsby's letter said as much. Then Trevelyan kept insisting no one was in the cave. A bit too strongly for me to believe him. I'm glad you made it out. Captain, I think Trevelyan knows something about the survivors of Falcon Company. I need to ask him a few questions. By all means. Anything he can do to help redeem himself would be in his best interests. Life in prison can be rough on a traitor. You hear that, Trevelyan? You'd better answer my friend's questions. It's a long way to prison, and the road could be very uncomfortable. Sherlock or just a sister? Like, I'm recording this in, like, 1080p, like, <laughs> you should definitely be watching it in that, I mean, the graphics are amazing, but, like, if you're doing that, or at least in HD, you should be able to read this, no problem. It's the exact same thing. It's just a little different. It's all good. I think Hannibal Lecter can smash that door. Decision. And an XP up. It's cool. Technically, it's no different. Chop down this tree. Okay, I'm gonna go to that camp because if that person's still there selling that stuff, I want that. I want that sword, and that's probably where I'll cut this one out. Damn it! Doesn't, doesn't show the weapon master there anymore. I bet you it's already taken back over. Should did that first. Sorry. But anyway, in case you're wondering, like there's an event in here to basically destroy this camp because they know they're about to uh, attack something. And you destroy it, and there's some guards in there to help you out. And once you get through destroying it, there's a weapon master that shows up here and it sells uh, centaur shield, sword, and axe. Which is the shield looks like it's like a leather shield that they're using. Like what this guy's got rocking. And he's using the sword too. But the axe is pretty sweet too, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, well. Unfortunately, half this video is me running around. I apologize for that, but at least I did, I did get to show you something pretty cool. Of course, more like I probably already knew about it, but anyway. Okay. So now that I actually have level 16, I'm going to have to do some events in the lobby a little bit. 
so we'll jump into that next video. Awesome, see you later.